Looking for a move-in ready pool home in Porter Ranch, California with views of the Santa Susana Mountains? On today's home tour, we're visiting our newest listing at 18773 Braymore Road in Porter Ranch. We're going to tell you what makes Porter Ranch such a great community, how we got this home ready for sale, and how you can buy this home. Let's get this home tour started. We're ecstatic to be showcasing to you our newest listing to be able to hit the market. And that is 18773 Braymore Road here in Porter Ranch, California. Now this is a move-in ready home that's five bedrooms, three baths, 2,328 square feet and sits on a 7,565 square foot lot. The house was built in 1968. So on today's home tour, we're gonna to be walking you through this home. We're gonna show you what the sellers did to be able to get this home ready for sale. We're gonna give you all the specs of this home, walk through every nook and cranny. You may be asking yourself, where is Porter Ranch if you're not familiar with it? Well, Porter Ranch is located in the North San Fernando Valley, approximately about 30 miles north of downtown Los Angeles. So this home in particular is located north of Rinaldi, close to the northern part of Porter Ranch, right there at Reseda Boulevard and Sasna. So there's so much that Porter Ranch has to offer. It's such a wonderful community. And this includes so many different parks that are adjacent to this home, including the famous E.T. Park that you may remember from the aforementioned film itself. Then you have the soon to be open Porter Ranch Community Park. That's a 50 acre park. There's going to be an outdoor amphitheater with seating, as well as pickleball courts, basketball courts, and even table tennis courts. Plus, you're going to have a beautiful playground. So we're looking forward to having that park opening soon. Then there's the Porter Ranch Farmer's Market. Now, this market opens every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. here in Porter Ranch, across the street from the vineyards. So this market is the place to go to get all your fresh fruit and vegetables, any of your produce, your food items that you're looking for during the week. This includes everything from organic pancake mix to soups to pastries and everything in between. All right, so that's your Porter Ranch Farmer's Market. And finally, there's the Vineyard Shopping. And the Vineyard Shopping is the place to go. They have including an AMC movie theater, your Whole Foods, which actually has one of the few in the country that actually has a bar inside the store itself. And then of course, you have so many different dining options, including Lord Fish House, Gus's Barbecue, uh, Finney's Craft House, just to name a few. Starting with the exterior, the first thing that anybody will notice when they drive up is the curb appeal that you will find at this house, right? So we always talk about curb appeal and how important it is, not only for the seller, but obviously really important for the buyer. So what do we have here? So right here in front, everything, this is a low maintenance front yard between your artificial turf, you have the mulch here with drought tolerant landscaping right here. So you're not gonna be spending a lot of money on your Department of Water and Power bill here. And of course, you have all these rocks here in the front. So this is something where I think a lot of people are gonna get excited about just walking up to the house itself. Now you will notice that this home does have a three car garage. So not all of them have that up here in this neighborhood. So if you're looking for a home where you can park more than two vehicles inside, this home will meet that criteria for you. So um, that's something to keep in mind that if that's something that's important to you, that uh, it's a really cool feature to be able to have that secondary bay uh, here for you in front. All right, so now as we approach the house itself, right, you're gonna see the brick entry right there, the brick front porch and then that'll take us to the double door entry. Now that we've made it through our double door entry, we're gonna start with the downstairs first. 
right? So this is your step down living room. So we were telling you before at the beginning of the video of what the sellers were able to do to be able to get this home ready for sale. And one of the things that they did do was replace the flooring to luxury vinyl plank. That's something that they worked with our program, the Concierge Plus program, which is an advantage for our sellers. But it's great for the buyers because now they don't have to go in and replace old carpeting. And this house, just the natural light shines so much differently on this luxury vinyl plank flooring. So you have this beautiful uh, step down living room that actually has double doors itself that you have, I'll show you right here. Look at this, we'll close it off. There's noise coming from another part of the house. You just shut that and look. Now you have a little bit more privacy, just like that, right? So we'll open these up to kind of just show you the space once again. And then continuing this way, now we're going to be at our formal dining area. And now we've arrived at the dining room, which is attached to your step-down living room. So what I like about this dining room is a couple of things. One, you have an area that can fit a pretty large size table. That's always good. Number two, it's adjacent to your kitchen, again, which is always great. And thirdly, what I really like is that it's actually an access point to your backyard with the slider. Now, we're gonna get into the backyard later in this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, so that takes us to our kitchen. All right, so we're gonna come in here and you're gonna notice this luxury vinyl plane flooring throughout almost the entire house here, right? So this is what they replaced that some of the old flooring with. And so here you have your Corian counters, right? With a nice cabinetry. And again, these are soft colors. So you don't have anything too harsh or too brash, right? That's really contrasting. So it's easy on the eyes. And that's what we find that a lot of the buyers like these days. You have your stainless steel double sink basin right there. You have a dishwasher. You have your freestanding electric range. And then you have your built-in microwave above that. And then you have this really nice garden window to watch what's going on in your backyard that also has some nice views of the Santa Susana Mountains right there. Be able to watch right there from that window. The kitchen opens to your family room. So this is a really nice space. You got your built-ins right here, cabinetry and space over there, as well as you have this fireplace here. Now, it's not really real. It does emanate heat, um, but it's not a gas fireplace. So important to know that. But look how nice it looks. It's a beautiful decorative fireplace that I think brings a lot of character to this room and this space. And then of course you have your recessed lighting above with your ceiling fan. And then this is your main access point to your backyard, which again, I promise you, we will get to at the end of this video. All right, so now you've seen the family room, dining room, the kitchen, and your step-down living room. Hey guys, Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group. Been working here in Southern California for over 20 years. We love helping buyers, sellers, and investors buy, sell, and invest in real estate here in Southern California. All right, so hope you're enjoying this home tour so far. We have a lot to get to still, so make sure you stick around. But wanted to tell you guys a couple things. So first, if you're a home buyer in this market, you may be thinking, wow, this is just a crazy market that we're in right now. So if you have any questions, reach out to us. And especially right now, there's five questions that you need to be asking right now if you're buying a home currently here in Los Angeles and here in Southern California. So reach out to us at the five questions that you need to know about if you're buying a property here in Southern California. Now, if you're a seller, right, we have our 25 page seller handbook, which is great, which goes into great deal about everything that you need to know about selling a home here in Los Angeles and Southern California. And then 
finally, right, we wanted to mention about that if you are a seller, to be able to take advantage of the Concierge Plus program, right? So walking through this house, right, you may have seen that, wow, the walls look freshly painted, you have brand new flooring, some of the countertops have been replaced, and so that's a program that we offer for our sellers, where our sellers be able to utilize this, and there's no cost up front, not a single penny, there's no interest charge, basically, whatever the agreed price is with the contractor, all of that gets paid through the seller's net proceeds at the close of escrow. So it's a great program and what we find for our sellers, most of our sellers end up selling within about two weeks and usually end up between two to four times uh, of what they actually invested in this program, they ended up getting back a return of two to four times. So hard to argue with that, especially here in today's marketplace. All right, let's continue on with this home tour. Okay, now that we are leaving the family room in the kitchen, we're gonna walk straight ahead back to the double door entry, and then to our right is going to be this suite downstairs. So this home again is five bedrooms. Now we've sold homes up here over the years and people have configured this differently, right? Because you already have four bedrooms upstairs. We've seen people do a ton of different things in this space. So previously, uh, these sellers were using it as an office. They had all these built-in cabinets, right? But a lot of people, especially in today's world where you're seeing a lot of multi-generational living. So if somebody, has a need where maybe you have an in-law or parents or you know you need a teenager with a with a, a need to have their own space downstairs just to give a few this works but hey maybe you want to have a large gym downstairs maybe you want to have a huge playroom downstairs if you have younger kids right these are options too so we currently have it staged as a bedroom on all of our listings the staging is complimentary as we really see the value for our sellers of making sure the home isn't just virtually staged but actually is staged to really help the buyers imagine themselves in this property all right so this is the downstairs bedroom right this would be the fifth bedroom which you're seeing downstairs and then over here i'll open this up for you this is your closet downstairs. You have a small closet here, right? And then this takes you right here to this bathroom downstairs. The sellers in this bathroom, they installed a new quartz countertop as well as a new sink and faucet to go along with the new medicine cabinets and light fixture. All right, so now we're gonna go upstairs. And like we told you before, you have the luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout the house. So you can see they also replaced the previous flooring that was here with the luxury vinyl plank flooring on the stairs, all right? So um, obviously it just, it really changes the complexion of the house and brings in that nat natural light, really accentuates it. So the first thing we're gonna look at upstairs here is this loft area. Now what's great about this is remember, you already have five bedrooms here on this floor plan, right? So you already have that large room downstairs, but here maybe you wanna have your office upstairs right here, or maybe this is an extra den. This would be the perfect homework area if you happen to have kids. So this is a great space right here, and there's so many different ways to be able to utilize it. Now it's time to enter your primary suite. So your primary bedroom has an attached bath. Now this room can fit a large bed as seen here. You can fit in pretty much any type of bed that you would possibly imagine uh, that would work for you. You also have the plantation shutters here, but again, you can see that this bedroom has its own private bath. So as we move our way to the private bath itself, Approaching the primary bathroom, which is attached to your primary bedroom, you will notice they have a brand new medicine cabinet, brand new mirror, light fixture, quartz countertop, as well as sink and faucet in this attached bathroom. And finally, the last portion of this attached bathroom does showcase 
your shower. So this shower here with the beautiful white tile from top to bottom. So one question that we get asked a lot of, because you do have a lot of families moving into this neighborhood, is what are the schools? Well, according to the Los Angeles Unified School District Resident School Finder, the schools for this home in this neighborhood are Castle Bay Lane Elementary, and then your middle school is Frost Middle School, and your high school is Granada Hills Charter High School. And so the reason I wanna bring those up because these are all schools that are typically rated usually nine out of 10. So Castle Bay Lane Elementary and Granada Hills Charter High School, they're constantly rated nine out of 10. So if schools, is that something that really means a lot to you? This is an area of town that you're probably gonna wanna be looking at, and this school fits the bill to be able to bring to you some really high quality education. So last and finally, here is your bathroom that's in the hallway upstairs. So again, this also has a shower in tub with your tile going from the bathtub all the way up almost to the window sill. And then once again, the sellers modernized this home by putting in a quartz countertop brand new sink, brand new sink faucet, as well as a mirror and medicine cap. So one thing I wanted to make sure I pointed out that I didn't want you to miss is look at these arches right here, right? This is very late 1960s, early 1970s. This home was built in 1968. So sometimes you'll see, depending on the architecture, you'll see some of these type of architecture vibes in some of the new construction, but nothing like this. So the older home, you know, a lot of times it's kind of disjointed. It doesn't feel very open at all, but by having these arches that are open, I think it kind of really opens up the floor plan. And again, the light that's coming in from the window off of your loft, that allows it to shine all the way downstairs because these arches are open. Now let's make our way to the backyard. So remember, this is a five bedroom, three bath home. It's 2,328 square feet. So this home, again, built in 1968. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this home so far. Making our way to the backyard. And I think if you like entertaining, you're really going to like this home. So now that we've stepped outside into the backyard, remember we were talking about the front yard at the very beginning, how everything is so low maintenance and there's a lot of curb appeal? Well, the same could be said here about the backyard, right? So look how they have designed everything between the landscaping and the hardscape right here that you have your artificial grass area right here. So if you need a large place for your kids to run around, your dogs, your animals to play, this is it. And then of course, you could see the hardscaping that they invested in too. You have this really beautiful patio. Now, if anybody who is really looking for a backyard here in Southern California, these days they probably want a pool in the North San Fernando Valley. And so if you're looking for a pool, you know, a lot of times one of the complaints I get is like, well, the pool takes up the entire backyard or, you know, the pool's on the side of the house and, you know, it just, it doesn't make, make sense. But here the pool's on the side of the house, so you still actually have all this space to be able to utilize, but because they have this really nice pool fence right here, so everything can be safe and done properly, so this way you don't have to worry about people getting, small kids, getting into your pool. And voila, this is your sparkling pool. And this is a huge pool. You know, sometimes in new construction, just because due to the fact that the lot size is so small, right? That a lot of times that these pools are super skinny, they're not very deep at all. But if you want a really big pool, you know, especially my kids, for example, they like going down <laughs> as they're getting better when it comes to swimming. They like going to the bottom of the deep end and trying, to, they're almost like fish, right? And so if you want a big pool to really be able to entertain in, this is a going to be a great swimming pool during these warm summer months. All right, so then of course, you also have a covered patio here 
in your pool decking area, which is great, right? Because a lot of times, you know, hey, you may be uh, offering meals or drinks, you know, to friends and family when they come over and they're going in the pool. But, you know, you want to have an area where you can actually sit by the pool. You know, maybe you just need to take a 10 to 15 minute break from being in the pool over an hour or two, right? Um, I know how my kids are when it comes to getting them out of the pool. So here is a great area to kind of, you know, maybe have lunch or an afternoon snack, you know, and take a break from the pool for just a little bit. And then of course you have a calming fountain right there, your source of zen. We wanted to point out this five ton condenser unit that was replaced in July of 2023. And the reason why we wanted to point it out, if you're familiar with Porter Ranch, it does get somewhat warm here, which is probably the understatement here in the summer months. So you're gonna need a unit that's really strong. So having a five ton unit, and again, you want something that's energy efficient. So if you have a condenser that's older, that still needs Freon, well, that's gonna be costing you as the homeowner a lot of money. So this is something that we wanted to really point out to you because this is something that's gonna help you save on your energy bill. All right guys, hope you enjoyed a full tour of our newest listing at 1E773 Braymore Road in Porter Ranch, California. All right, this is a great house. Remember, five bedrooms, three baths, 2,328 square feet. You got the three car garage, you have the swimming pool, located in an incredible neighborhood here in the San Fernando Valley in Porter Ranch. So again, if you're looking to buy a home, make sure you reach out to us. Love to be able to assist you, whether to show you be able to how to buy this home or if you have any questions about any other homes here in Southern California. Now, if you're a seller and you wanna learn more about our Concierge Plus program, what we're able to do on this house and how we're able to be able to trans Form your house into something spectacular, then definitely you should be contacting us as well. So our Concierge Plus program has been around now for almost about two years and a lot of our sellers have been able to benefit from that because they're able to be able to be in a situation where they don't have to put the money up front out of pocket, it just comes out of their net proceeds. And the best part about that program is, is they don't have to worry about picking out flooring, picking out backsplash, picking out paint color. We do all of that. We oversee all of that for you. So you don't have to lift a finger. There's no stress on your end. So the reviews speak for themselves when it comes to that program. All right, guys, any real estate questions, you want more information on this house, reach out to us. I'm Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group, and we'll see you on the next home tour.